how can you determine the number of solutions that a linear system has? Well, first you have to understand that linear systems can either have no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions. And you'll have to know what the slope and y-intercept cases are for each of these. As long as the slopes are different, you're going to have exactly one point of intersection. If the slopes are the same, then you either have this case or this case, and the difference is that the y-intercepts are different in the case where they never intersect. And the y-intercepts are going to be the same if they're the same line and meet everywhere in infinite places. So the real trick is to convert all of these to y equals mx plus b form. That way you can read the slope and y-intercept directly from the equation. All right, so let's get to it. This is already in y equals mx plus b form because of the arrangement of the letters. This one is not yet though, so let's do that. I'm going to keep my negative 2y on the right side. I'm going to move my x to the other side. That gives me negative x when I move it over to the right hand side. There's still the positive 4 sitting there. And then to get rid of the negative 2 in front of y, because we want y isolated, we divide everything by negative 2. y equals, this gives me a half x, that's negative 1 over negative 2, reduces to a half. Positive 4 divided by negative 2 is minus 2. Okay, so we're comparing this line with this line. Well, they actually have the same slope of positive a half and the same y-intercept. I'll write that here explicitly. Same slope and same y-intercept. These are the same line. They have an infinite number of points of intersection or infinite solutions to this linear system. Now we're gonna do that a couple more times with these. I'm gonna keep my y's on the left, move my 2x to the right-hand side of the equal sign. Note the 2x becomes minus 2x, and the 12 stays positive 12. Divide everything by negative three. Guess I should have given myself more room. I get y equals two over three times x minus four. Positive 12 divided by negative 3 gives me that negative 4. I'm going to do the same thing here. Move the 2x to the other side so it becomes minus 2x. This negative 12 stays negative 12. Divide it all by 3. y equals negative 2 over 3x. Negative 12 divided by 3 is minus 4. Now these have the same y-intercept, but... What really matters is that the slopes are different. As soon as the slopes are different, I guarantee you there is exactly one point of intersection. Cool. All right, I'm gonna keep trucking. Hopefully you'll feel like you can rearrange this to y equals mx plus b form very quickly by the end of this. Keep the y's on the left. 2x flips over to become minus 2x. Divide everything by negative 7 to get rid of the coefficient on y. y equals 2 sevenths x minus 2. That's positive 14 divided by negative 7. I'm going to do the same thing here. We, minus 14y stays on the left. Minus 4x flips to the right. And if I divide everything by negative 14, I'm going to end up with, well, these cancel, that's y. Negative 4 over negative 14 reduces to positive 2 over 7. The negatives cancel, and they're both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 56 divided by negative 14 is minus 4. These ones have the same slope. The slope is positive 2 over 7 for both, but they do have different y-intercepts. 
that means there are no points of intersection or no solution. Cool. And I have included this as a bonus just in case it, you come across it. X equals 5 is a horizontal line. It has a slope of 0. No, wait. X equals 5 is a vertical line. Can't believe I almost got that backwards. It has an undefined slope, and it goes straight up and down. Y equals negative 8 is a horizontal line. It goes straight across and has a slope of zero. The slope here was undefined. The slope here was zero. Those are different slopes. And therefore, just like happened here, there is exactly one point of intersection. Nice. So let me reiterate. Figure out the slope and y intersect for both of the lines that you're given. If the slopes are different, there's one solution to the system. If the slopes are the same, you have to look at the y-intercepts. If the y-intercepts are the same too, there's infinite solutions because they're the same line. And if the y-intercepts are different, then there's no solution because the two lines are parallel. They start in different places because they have different y-intercepts and they never meet. Nice. Congratulations, you just graduated. Best of luck.